This video, we're going to be breaking down the Detroit Lions offensive playbook and taking a look at a couple of things that I want to draw your attention to. First is this doubles hip formation. That's kind of a unique formation. A lot of good things as an audible formation. You have a couple of really cool plays. This bench HP angle play is pretty neat. You have um, this switch wide receiver drag, flood drive, and then the play action go slot cross. Really nice little mini scheme out of this formation. You have the doubles formation, which is an okay formation for seam streaks and a couple decent little RPOs here, but nothing too crazy. Doubles off nasty. This is kind of a cool formation. You have a really unique RPO in this formation with the RPO zine zone read bubble. You have cross trail, a lot you can do with this play. Double post, a lot you can do with that play. If you want to get kind of crazy, you have the tackle wide trap, which is kind of a unique run. A really nice wheel route from the snag play or a pivot route. So whatever you want in this last audible slot you can have, but that is kind of a unique formation in this playbook. In the tight white off, you have the play flood, which is really good. You have flanker spot. And then I don't think you have the other. Oh, yeah, you do have post wheel drag. So kind of a very nice little variation of tight white or uh, tight slots in here, as well as the RPO. So a couple cool things in here. You have bunch wide flex. Um, this is a formation, you know, when you're getting kind of deep in your playbook, audibly and around is really good in this game. Plays like 83 halfback choice, verts, dig return. Um, I would probably put this RPO as your run audible. And then I'd have smash return, dig return, kind of some bunch staples in here. If you want to throw dagger in there, you certainly can. Or that 83 halfback choice. But what makes this offense really good is the Bunch X Nasty. The Bunch X Nasty is a really good formation this year, primarily because of the auto motion plays that you see on your screen. So this first audible is motion corner under. Second audible is going to be the motion RPO uh, play. If I can find that motion RPO uh, zone alert. And then the, the they also have some other motion plays here, uh, like the motion spot HB under, the motion halfback choice, which is a really good play uh, that you could utilize as well. I'm going to probably put that in the audibles. And then some other just kind of bunch staple plays uh, that you might want to have, like smash return, mesh spot, some a lot of versatility within this playbook. I'll probably just for the sake of uh, kind of the video, just put another motion play in here. And then we're going to actually come out in this motion cross post. This is going to be our base play. They have tight white open. The cool part about tight white open, it's one of those formations that's just great to have as like a mini scheme. There's a lot of cool plays in there this year. There's mesh spot. There's dig Z spot. There's bench return. Verticals HP burst, kind of a standard one. Uh, bench dig pivot is also a really good play. So I'll probably put that in the verts category there. But you have kind of a nice little uh, tight Y off that's pretty versatile. Their spread formation is kind of like that doubles formation, like not super crazy. But then you have the trips tight end flex. And this is probably the best trips in the game. In my opinion, one of the best plays in the game is this motion Y post. I would definitely want to have a bubble screen. Let's see if they have the bubbles. They don't have the bubble screen in here. Totally thought they did. Um, you don't even need a really a run out of trips. But if you did, you could use this outside zone. It's not a bad run either. They have verticals, PA crossers, pretty simple offense here. You could use this motion hitch and go. It's a good play because this is a running back Texas route. You have motion fork choice. Uh, but in general, I don't think you need all that. I think you just need this very simple, uh, the simple plays here that we have. Um, verticals is really good to have. I, I, I still think those streaks are really good. PA shot crossers with that nice post route and crossing route. They're very good plays to have. Trips wise slot, this is more of an, a red zone type of formation I've talked a little bit about before here on the channel. One of the best plays in the red zone is this slot fork play. And then another really good one is the high low dig and the PA wide receiver in, and then some type of run. So a read option, uh, read option, halfback, draw. Uh, probably the read option is going to be your best option there. And then empty bunch open, nothing too crazy in here that I really want to touch on and basically just five wide from there. So let's go ahead and get into what makes this offense so good. And that is motion cross post. So the reason that this play is good is if you ever play someone and they are running any kind of man to man coverage, it's going to struggle, especially two man under. It's going to struggle against this play uh, very much so. So all you're going to do for the first setup here is you're just going to put the slot receiver or the solo receiver on a curl. You're going to stem him all the way up. 
And then I like to stem the tight end down one. So you see, this is what it looks like. And we're just going to snap the ball. Our first read is always this wheel against press man to man, like cover to man. This is what makes this offense so good against man coverage. They can never, ever play shaded down man on you. They just can't play it. And then what people have started to do, myself included, is if I see you do this, I think one of the main primary adjustments you're starting to see people make, especially since the most recent patch, is they will put their safeties in a third. So we'll put this safety on the right side into an outside third. We might still put this guy on the right side in a half, but basically this would be what it would look like because this outside third is going to do a little better job of defending that outside streak, which is the whole purpose of this curl. Now, this curl can get defended, but you're going to see here, he gets like an unbump. It's like an unbumpable route. It makes this route unbumpable. And as you can see, it just cooks man coverage over the top if they don't have safety help. So now what they're going to have to do is if they want to play shaded down man coverage, they're going to have to do adjustments, something to the matter of like this. Uh, actually, let me show you real quick. Sorry. Mess my my uh, adjustment up. I'm still getting used to the new adjustments. But anyways, so it looks something like this right here, right? So they take this left side guy and they put him in the middle of the field. Well, then what we can do off of this motion post play is a play like motion corner under. So what you can do with this play is you can drag the backside receiver. If you want to leave the running back on the blue route, that's cool. And then I would use that same curl trick with the slot on the right side. So you see it looks like this. The, the route we're really looking for here is the tight end against man coverage because they can't have any safety help over there. And what you'll see there, Kyle Hamilton actually kind of played it crazy good. I'll show it to you again. And we'll show it to you with uh, uh, probably a proper shade. Let me make sure that I'm shading that right. Normally, you're going to get a really nice uh, separation. All right, we really got to learn these adjustments. Let's see. Outside, inside there. There we go. I think the adjustments stay the same. I don't know. I'm still learning the, the new adjustments. But anyways... Motion corner under, and then you're going to stem the tight end down one, put this guy on a curl, stem him up one. I think that was the mistake I made last time. I don't think I stemmed the tight end, and then just snap the ball. So the main read here is we're looking for this tight end corner. You're going to see here, if he's running with him like that, you can always high point it because they almost can never pick the ball. Kyle Hamilton is actually playing like the craziest man coverage ever. You can also just run the corner route from the slot if it's really giving you an issue. So like, let's say you want to do it like this. And again, the biggest thing I want to show here is just it just kind of highlights if they don't have an, a deep half or an outside dirt over there. See how this formation also misaligns a lot of man coverages. I guess it's just not going to let me do it. But normally the corner route's going to get open to the outside on this formation pretty, pretty consistently. I think it honestly has something to do with this linebacker. So I'm going to move him out of the way. And uh, you also see, like, just in general, this formation's hard to play man coverage against because it, it completely misaligns man coverage out of the most popular man coverage formations. You have that going for you as well here. But again, the, see how they can't really press your slot? So he gets out there press free, and then you have this guy as well. That's normally what happens against the shaded down man is he's going to get that separation to the right side. So this formation just really forces them into zone coverage pretty much. That's like the only coverage they can call. So that's where I'll start to go to stuff like this where we'll just kind of spread the field out and we'll just be able to attack attack the field. I think in this year's game, this is – oh, another thing I want to say about motion cross post. So occasionally what people will also do is they'll put a soft – I'll show you the basic cover two. So if it's basic cover two, like cover two with clouds, the cloud flat will always get burned by this cheap motion. You'll see here he'll just clear that cloud flat and it's going to be a big play against against the cover two. So the beauty of this play is, and I'll just show you this. I'm actually going to move my, my bunch over here so I can show you some trip stuff as well with this. But let's say that they soft squat. Um, what you're going to see is if I leave this play like this, the soft squat can match this deep fade. And sometimes it can still kind of burn it over the top, but it's a tight throw, as you can see. It's not really clean. So what you want to do is you want to have something that the soft squad has to guard. So what you another combo that I like to do in this formation would be to use a table route here uh, to the running back. And then you can basically run it like this. Uh, or you could take this slot receiver and put him on a streak as well if you really wanted to kind of attack kind of the seam area of the field. Then you could have seam streaks on both sides if you wanted to. What you'll see is that soft squat will drop down. That deep path still won't be able to get out there. 
and this is going to be a consistent read you can make against cover two. The other thing that this does a really good job of is it sets you up to attack the seams against cover three. So if they want to run cover three, what will happen is this drag will get over into the yellow zone. They're going to have to react to that. And then you can almost just throw through the zones by throwing this solo wide receiver open. The other thing that you can do in this formation that I really like, or this offense that I really like, is if you audible a couple clicks to the right side, you're going to be in trips tight and flex, motion wide post, which the reason what makes this play so good is that you have the old school tight end post route that you cannot really hot route anymore. So if you watch this tight end, he's going to get unbumpable a lot of times against man coverage. And as long as there's not a three rack hook that plays out of his mind, it's going to be a it's going to be a really really good read for you. So let me just kind of show you in real time what this might look like. You can literally just go to motion post, and all all you have to do, I mean, you can literally just call it like this, or you could just slant this guy and just call it good. And what you're going to see here is this tight end post just kills man coverage. See how he just beats the man coverage every single time. It's going to be a nice read for you to be able to make. And so then what they're going to start to do is they're going to start to go to zone. And one of the most popular zones that I have seen, again, when I when I use this trip side and flex, one of the most popular ways that people like to play zone is they want to play uh, cover two. So what I like to do against a cover two is – you know, some level of basically just streaking the tight end. I have that table route there. Or you could also leave the tight end on his post. You could literally just call this play stock. I would probably go ahead and drag the slot receiver. I really like drags this year. Something like this. But what you're going to see here is that cover two. He's going to get on top of that cloud. That deep half doesn't play him for some odd reason. And this is going to just bomb cover two. So it's a way that we can easily bomb and manipulate cover two just by a quick audible here. You know, you're going to see, look how fast this can go. I can just go to motion post. If I want to, I can just snap the ball like this and we just go real, real quick here. And defensively, you're not going to have the opportunity to be able to adjust. So now you're kind of forced to play more of a basic vanilla zone coverage, which again, is going to leave that post open over the middle of the field. So you have that play. Um, uh, occasionally what I like to do in trips as well is call this motion post play and kind of run it like the old school slant post combo. I still think this is a great combo this year, um, even though switch stick kind of made it a little bit worse. There's just a lot of holes that that tight end is going to get into, and, and this is just a – it's just a really, really good play to have in your arsenal to be able to get into this in an audible. And this is going to help you beat things like six one. You know, I mean, you could even just go to something like this. I think this is a, a really nice play and it just spaces the field so well. And you should be able to, you know, basically just have wide open players all the time. So then they're going to ultimately get into cover four. They're going to get into cover three. They're going to kind of get into some more basic coverages once you start to be able to manipulate some of their adjusted zones. So then I'm just going to go and run verticals, right? I got verticals. We don't even necessarily need to make any adjustments. The main route we're looking for is that seam streak. Now, the way you want to throw that seam streak, as you saw, I did overthrow that a little bit. I don't like to pass lead that, um, or I don't like to freeform that. I just like to pass lead that. So just pass lead down into the inside. So you see here, down into the inside, and you see that he'll catch it. You can cut it off before he gets to the zone defender. Having trips tied in in your audibles, to me, is really valuable. Um, having a really good trips. So here we can go to PA, cross. We're going to corner the tight end, stem him down one or two. So we have a quick read of that tight end. But then we also have kind of a cover three bomb type of route with this deep crosser. This has been one of the best cover three beaters for the last couple of years. You still have this cover three beater in your arsenal. And then every now and then, if you wanted to, you can always, and again, with the new hot route system, you can create all kinds of different plays. For example, uh, this motion Y post, maybe we want to do something like a C route to the outside, a streak as a clear out, and then we have the running back on a streak, you know, a combo like this. This is a good combo, and you're going to be able to beat a lot of things, right? Because your running back is going to get into a soft spot. You have the C route, which nobody wants to defend C routes in this game. It's it's hard uh, to defend C routes consistently. And then you have your tight end drag that you have underneath. Another thing that you can do in this is just kind of basically almost create on the fly here some old school trips plays like this is, is perfectly good. And now you have kind of that nice little corner route 
to that sideline. Again, this is all just done with basic hot routes that they have in here. Another audible that I really like out of this formation is to kind of get into some of these tight plays. Uh, doubles Y off nasty or doubles hips. Switch wide receiver drag is a really, really good play. What I like to do with this play is you can motion the running back out into the, into the route and basically just streak flat corner. Just like this, really simple. On the right side, you can really do whatever you want, but the reason this is such a good play is the short corner really just kind of puts a lot of stress on those zones out there and makes them have to have to defend that. And then, you know, if you want to go to tight Y off, you've got some stuff like post will drag, you know, where you can get that old school tight end corner route, that nice post route still uh, is in the game. This post route's better than the hot route post because it just runs better, beats man better, right? It's just all around a better play. And then if we get back into kind of our bay, again, the meta this year is audibly, truly is audibly around. So then we would motion this guy. Now we can motion the tight end out on a speed flat. You'll see this flat. Look how fast this flat gets out there. It's hard for hard flat zones to defend that. Uh, one thing you can also do on this play, I think I need to be on this. I don't know if you have to be on this hash or not. This is a really good play for somebody that likes to switch stick a lot. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to motion, uh, where is it at, motion choice, and you are just going to streak this outside guy. You can stem the corner down one or two. If you want to post this guy, you can. But basically what's going to happen is this angled streak is going to have a really good chance of bombing cover three. It's one of those plays you're going to need a little bit of time uh, to, to obviously set this up which we'll talk about the RPO in a minute. I think that this formation has the best RPO in the game. But take a look at this angled streak, just kind of how it runs. Again, this is just if you have time. You'll see that middle third is always going to go to that other streak, and then you can kind of throw this underneath. They actually made a crazy play over there. But in general, you have um, you do have this. Let me try to get this one more time for you. Just We'll stem the tight end down a little bit. But basically, this, this angled streak... You'll see here, he'll just kind of run himself. Actually, I guess they patched the bomb with the way they messed up the all the zones now drop back, I guess, but not a big deal. Um, you you can just have the corner route on this. Uh, I also think this might low-key be a cover four bomb. I'm not sure if it is or not. Eh, not really. All right. But the other play that I want to go over is this uh, motion. Whoops, did I flip the all right, I guess I audible a bunch of flex. So if you go to this formation, you kind of have staples. You could run a combo like this out of smash return. I'll just show you the plays. You can go to dig return. Uh, what I like to do with dig return is on the left side, run a combo like this. And on the right side, I have that on the back end. Another way you could uh, do it is basically like this if you wanted a little bit additional protection. And then you have uh, the RPO out play. You can stem... Uh, this out route up and throw it like a streak, which we're going to talk about in a minute from a different play, but a lot of good stuff out of bunch flex and tight way open. I've talked about that in another video motion spot under uh, again, here's the tight end on the corner. If you stem him sometimes, we'll just take a look here. Yeah. Nothing too crazy on this play. You just have nice corner routes on the left. So not going to really talk about this play too much. The, the main thing I want to show you is this RPO. So off the same cheap motion, you have an RPO. And this, this flat is so good. It's, it, you can just quick throw it against almost every coverage. If you're in the red zone, another thing that you can do with this, this RPO um, is you can high point it. So if I just high point, throw it out there, it's really hard for the zones to animate and actually play it. So you have this nice little RPO. Another thing I was talking about stemming the out, you can do something like this. And what can happen, it depends a little bit on what they're doing with their coverage. But this can happen right here where he's just wide open. You're obviously looking at it, and if the guys don't drop down, you're just going to let the game hand it off to the running back. But this is something that you have access to in, in this, in this uh, little play here. So there's just a lot in this offense that I think is really, really, really good. Let's just check out this tight end corner to see kind of how it runs. A little quick tight end corner here. Not super crazy good. It's okay. does get under quarters. But you also can just basically freestyle some old school bunch plays. So like if you want to get back into something like this, this play is still available to you in this formation. If you want to freestyle Durham, um, you can actually, this formation is really easy to freestyle Durham because you have this, this cheap motion, right? So all you need to do here is put the running back on a streak 
and then you you can use this uh, this crosser. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if I wanted to create Durham from this look, what I could do is post or leave the crosser on this guy. I could streak my slot receiver. I could take my tight end and just put him on a basic out route. Seems very simple, but this is a very, very good play, and it just spaces the defense out really, really, really well. Now, hopefully, they don't <laughs> over they don't over protect against that that post. It's crazy to me, and this is something that I've talked a little bit about before. But the way zones play in this game, I've never seen zones play more underneath, right? But some, a combo like this, perfect, perfectly good combo here, and then you can just work if if you're starting to, you know, just go to your underneath game. But this is the Detroit playbook. Uh, one other play I wanted to show you, I would come out in the bunch that like basically basic bunch. And then in the red zone, you could audible in a no huddle situation, just audible over to high low dig. You're going to out route this guy on the left. You're going to put the tight end on a streak and then you can just put a backside in route or something like this. The main route you're really looking for here is your in route to your tight end or your zig on the back end. So the main thing that should happen um, is the zig should get wide open because normally they're going, and you could do something like this too. Normally you'll see right here, look at this whip route, just kind of gets into a soft spot against the coverage. And then I've talked about this as well, but let's say you're getting a lot of cover too down here in the red zone. One of my other favorite, uh, favorite concepts I guess we just can't snap the ball. Again, I talked a little bit about that RPO play that I really like. If you're getting a lot of cover too, you can high point that in the back of the end zone. And they actually will play. Like, it's it's really hard to stop that. Um, and then the other thing is this play slot four. This is what I wanted to show you, though. This is cover two. Little cloud flat glitch here. You're just going to stem this guy on the left all the way down. You're going to put the tight end on that in route, stem him up, or just put him on a slant. We'll just put him on a slant here. Watch this tight end route. Watch the ghost route hold the cloud as we get instant shedded, but you saw the tight end was coming open on that outside. I'll show that one more time. Just love the instant sheds in practice mode. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. But what you'll see is that this tight end, if we have a second to throw, that's crazy. He's wide open in the back of the end zone. Uh, and then you can, you can uh, basically create combos off of that. So what I would do would be something like kind of a, almost like an old school trips play. We're going to flat this outside guy right? It looks something literally like this. You could literally just call this. This is fine. You don't have to put that guy all the way down either, but you see the slant gets open in the back corner of the end zone. Thanks for watching the video. That's the Detroit mini scheme. If you guys want to check out my full breakdown on any of this stuff, it's all going to be available in our school community. Um, already have the, I have a little bit more of the trip stuff in there. I have this bunch nasty as well. But all that stuff is going to be in the description. Thanks for watching. If you want to join school for just 10 bucks and get everything, the link is down below.